So I just got a new software update. Uh, this, this one is 2020.24.6.1. And oops, let's see, let's open up the release notes. So basically this, uh, this update uh, includes a new features for traffic light and stop sign control basically allow you to go through a light if there's a leading vehicle in front of you without confirming uh, with the autopilot stock with that functionality turned on um, and you will see a green light when it sees that that car leading car is uh, making it safe to go through basically so there's an additional update for backup camera improvements. So now you'll be able to use the side repeater cameras for added visibility around your vehicle. Uh, when the backup camera is visible, simply swipe to display the center, the repeater camera video feeds. Uh, dash cam viewer improvements to make sentry mode videos easier to review. We've added a red dot along the viewer scrubber, video scrubber, to indicate the moment when a sentry video event has triggered. When playing a sentry mode video, the dash cam viewer will skip ahead and begin playback right before the event, which is a really nice functionality. I'll show that in a few minutes here. Uh, so tune, there's some tune-in improvements. Um, with this update, we've improved the visibility and discoverability of tune-in stations and podcasts so that it's easier to browse content. We've ad also added the ability to adjust playback speed of podcasts up to two times. Uh, as usual, to use tune-in, you just tap on the media icon and then select tune in. Uh, walk away door lock improvement. Um, you now have the option to disable walk away door lock when your vehicle is at home. So tap controls, lights, or sorry, controls, locks, and then select exclude home. So I'll just kind of go through these features real quick here to show everyone. Um, I'm gonna, in a little bit, I'm going to show the traffic stop, traffic light and stop sign control beta improvement but the backup camera so you can click here and then camera and actually I've already selected it but by default it's going to show your normal cam and then you just kind of swipe up and it'll show your side repeater cameras which is really a nice added function especially be nice when you're on the freeway and you're wanting to make lane changes uh, you can make sure there's nobody in your blind spot um, more easily so the next one was the, I believe, lock away, walk away door lock. So if you click on this and then go under locks and then scroll down, you'll see walk away door lock. And then right next to on, there's an exclude home. So you basically can exclude it, walk, you know, with door locking when you're at home, which is really nice because it's really a pain having to unlock the car when it's in your own garage. So that's going to be an added, really nice added function. Uh, we'll just see if there's anything visible in TuneIn that we can see here. I'll go to, excuse me, sorry, media, and then TuneIn. Okay, yeah, so it does show, I don't believe this was there before, popular stations in your area. I don't remember seeing that um, in your new episodes. I don't think that was there for uh, this whole For You tab. I don't believe was there before. So that's kind of nice. Popular news stations, uh, find your team, local radio. Yeah, that's really kind of nice. I don't remember this being in there. Comment down below if you think this was there prior to this update, but I don't ever call this. Um, and then they just wanted to see uh, in regards to the two times speed. Okay, right up here, you can click on it and you can do up to two times. So 
Yeah, it definitely speeds it up. So that's, uh, yeah, that's nice functionality. The last new function is the cabin camera. Uh, so help Tesla continue to, to develop safe, safer vehicles by sharing camera data from your vehicle. This update will allow you to enable the built-in cabin camera above the rear view mirror. If enabled, Tesla will automatically capture images and a short video clip just be prior to a collision or safety event to help engineers develop safety features and enhancements in the future. As usual, you can adjust your data sharing preference by tapping on controls, safety, security, data sharing, and allow cabin camera analysis. Note, camera images and video clips will not be associated with your bin to protect your privacy. So let's just see if we can find that. Um, so it's under safety and security. And then under data sharing. And then, okay, yeah, here it is. When cabin camera analytics is enabled. So yeah, basically it just goes over the same things. So you can click yes there or no, whichever your preference is. And this would be a nice function, uh, especially for Sentry, like if somebody breaks into your car, uh, I imagine that this would uh, kind of record the in-camera view uh, for Sentry view, you know, um, um, events so that you have an indoor camera of the person, uh, hopefully you can get their face, uh, you know, as well as kind of see what they're stealing. So I wanted to show everyone the improvements to the dash cam viewer um, and which basically what you what they added is this little red dot right down here. So that's basically where on the scrubber uh, where it recorded. So it's usually kind of towards the end of the, the video, the Sentry Cam video. Um, and then it records the 10 minutes prior to that event just so if there's something fishy going on you can see what was happening before. So basically you can just touch or, or yeah, I think the easiest way is just touch right before the event, um, and then it will, sh it, you know, basically that way you can easily go right to where the event was. So you just want to see what the, the event was. This was somebody cutting me off, and I hit my horn, and of course it recorded the video after that. So yeah, it's definitely a nice function. So you don't have to watch the whole 10 minutes. You can just scrub right to the, where the, uh, the event that triggered the Sentry Cam alert. So this uh, version just came out today, actually. Uh, it's been, I think in the early access program, uh, I've seen some reports on Twitter of other people that got in early access. I just, I just got it today. Okay, unfortunately, there's nobody in front of me going this way either. <laughs> are a little too barren here. Let's see if I can't maybe speed up and get in front of or behind some of those other cars here. So you can kind of see this new functionality. Okay, so at that time I did not do the confirmation. It sees the car in front of me and knows that it's safe to go through. You can see the green, the line across was green the whole way. Again, let's see if it does it again here. Sees the car in front of me. Oh, sees somebody cutting me off. <laughs> and green line all the way through. So that shows that I didn't have to do any confirmation, which is really nice. It makes this functionality way more useful. It's quite annoying having to, to swipe when there's a car right in front of you to have it go through a green line. Okay, interesting. So that is saying that is too far away for me to say that it's safe for me to go through behind them. It doesn't seem quite ideal. It seems like if it sees both the light and the car but before it goes through the light, it should it should um, recognize that it's safe to go through. So let's see what it does here. So okay, good. You can see the line is already green there across the road uh, because of the car in front of me, so I didn't do any confirmation and it's allowing me to go through, which is perfect. And we're coming to a red light here. It's getting a little confused. Okay, now it sees the red light. And 
it sees the green light over there, which is kind of cool. Okay, it sees the green light and it sees the car in front of me and gives me a green path to go through and no confirmation, which is perfect. Earlier when I was driving, I did have one incident where it, it uh, kind of got lost in the middle of a it was a four way intersection. Uh, and I kind of didn't know which lane to follow. Uh, I was following another car through, but it lost track of the car in front of me and started veering, you know, into the oncoming traffic lane. So definitely some work they still got to work out, but this is much improved. Right, I'm going to try to stay up with these cars here so we can see if it'll let us through the next couple lights here. slipped down. Oh, that's interesting. I would have thought that it should have let me go through there. I'm going to speed up a little bit to try to catch them here. Good. Now it's a green light, and it's giving me the green line across saying it's safe to go through. And it's navigating through that intersection just as I'd expect. So overall, not bad. Uh, I would say that it seems like it should have a little more leniency on like, the distance factor. Let's see if this is if it lets us go through this one. This car is pretty, still pretty close. Okay, good. So yeah, it's still staying green. Uh, so again, most of the time it's not asking me for a confirmation, so that's good.
once again, you can see the green light on the screen there. green even when there's not a lead car. I still think they're going to want you to confirm uh, when you're at a red light before you you go. Um, if there's not a lead car, I'm saying. Um, let's see, that, I think that will probably be the last functionality added. So here you can see we have nobody in front of me. So I do need to confirm each of these lane changes. So there we go. That sees the truck in front of me there. Yes, amazingly, I actually still saw that that truck went through. I was kind of surprised that it did actually, but I didn't ask for my confirmation on that light either. This one is way out there. Let's see, okay, yeah, so it is asking for me on this one. I'm just going to leave it off for a few more minutes longer. No, okay, so it does, that is a little too far out for it to, um, so that one I did have to confirm because the car was just too up, far out in front of me. And this next one will be the same. Yes, so that is okay. The light is turning yellow and the car is appropriately stopping, which is good. So, there you have it. Uh, that's version 2020.24.6.1. I hope you enjoyed. If you could, please subscribe. Uh, make some comments down below. I'd love to have a conversation and like my video. Thanks very much. Have a great night.